everyone. Today's unboxing is on MCT oil. Now, this is in powder form, but it's still an oil. And I did, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I posted a while ago, um, I think it was MCT oil from coconut. And didn't do too well with that. Uh, it flared up my IBS, and that wasn't good. So today, I decided to try this stuff. And here we go. So there's a couple benefits for medium chain triglycerides. Medium chain triglycerides are to give the brain some power, uh, energy. And well, I mean, we all need, here is the powder. Oops, all over the place. There's the powder. Hopefully you can see, hopefully you can see that. Uh, Carpe can see it. So uh, this happens to be Quest. Um, I like their product. Uh, looks pretty good. But um, so let's talk about the benefits of MCT oil. Um, as a lot of you know that follow me, I am going vegan because of uh, my uh, patient and friend Bob who suffered a heart attack in my office. And uh, just for a while, I do miss uh, taking in fish. Uh, I was a pescatarian before then. And it, it does make it a little bit of a uh, chore with trying to get in collagen and some protein, but been able to bypass the protein by adding, in addition to watching protein in nuts, seeds, legumes, uh, uh, tofu, uh, soy, but it, it does make it a challenge. And in my opinion, when you um, have to treat your foods has macronutrients, I think it gives you uh, a more tangible way to attack and uh, understand how food is affecting you. I think uh, the United States is just a, uh, a civilization of abundance and our culture of abundance and we just, that, I think that's why we have a lot of the degenerative diseases and heart diseases, inflammatory reactions that we go through. Just cutting back might be the first step. <clears throat> and I just wanted to show you um, my, one of my uh, patients, Anthony, this is his, I have to show this, Anthony, but this is his um, diet. I have a two-week diet diary that I have a lot of my patients go through, and Anthony's been doing great. He cracked his plateaued weight, and if you can notice, these, uh, I mean, it's, this, is a, this is a beginning. Uh, we can't uh, really, uh, we're going to try to hold off on a registered dietitian or a nutrition coach at this point in time, but he has done spectacularly with cutting back on volume. Now, uh, th th we have to balance this out in order to get or reap the rewards of a well-balanced diet. has to be balanced, and that's old school. But uh, at the same time, you'll notice this is kind of lean. It's probably heavier on the carbohydrates if you're talking about macronutrients, but it's kind of lean. <clears throat> and if Anthony is going to do this, a nutrition change, in addition to starting an exercise program, we got to make sure uh, that he doesn't hit the wall. And this is one of the benefits of medium chain triglycerides. Medium chain triglycerides, or MCTs, are known to give a fast energy. Fast energy because of, uh, I'll explain in a second, MCTs can get through the membrane of the cell faster than long chain fatty acids or long chain triglycerides even insulin and glucose, they can get through faster. And uh, be, if it gets through faster, it can be used as an energy source quicker. So how does it get through faster? Let me show you. So a lot of you know my son's project. This is a cell. This is the cytoplasm over here. These are the mitochondria over here. Now the cell has a cell wall and you have to get through the cell wall. If you eat something, it goes from your stomach as a fuel source into your bloodstream after being digested. After it's absorbed into the bloodstream, it goes around the bloodstream and eventually gets to the cell. Then it has to go through the cell wall. So there are some things that make those fuel sources easier access through the cell wall, and one of them is being a fatty acid, because the cell wall is made up of fat. In fact, fat, uh, in fact, fat usually is found in phospholipids or the cell wall or in uh, cholesterol, uh, or, and that's where you find this stuff. And if you have a, a fatty acid 
that tries to pass through another fatty acid, it'll go through easy. So it does get through easy, so that's one benefit, but it also converts into ketones quick. So that's uh, with this whole thing with ketosis and uh, 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 finding a nutritional ketosis that, uh, that's so hot now with a lot of endurance athletes. If you can have an energy source that goes straight to ketones or converts to ketones easily like this, then you might have an alternative fuel source for your muscles and your brain. Remember, uh, 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 just try to follow me. Anthony's diet is great from before, but it is kind of lean. It's probably more carbohydrates than I'd like, but we're in the learning phase. So I'm afraid that if he starts exercising, he's gonna bonk or hit the wall because his energy, his energy input will be decreased from before and his exercise will demand more energy. So what do we do? We be careful because he'll hit the wall, but we also go for another source of energy. The cool thing about medium chain triglycerides is that they don't go directly into fat <clears throat> compared to long chain triglycerides. So that's a benefit. It's used uh, faster, uh, assemblance is faster as far as energy, goes into ketosis, or it goes into ketones, it converts over to ketones quicker, and once the cell, especially the liver cell, uh, produces from medium chain triglycerides, uh, it goes through the cell wall, it changes into medium chain fatty acid, and then ketones. Once the ketones are produced, the ketones get let out of the cell into the bloodstream, and then they go straight to the brain and muscle. When they get out of the conversion and go into the bloodstream, goes straight into the brain and muscle, Again, MCTs turn to ketones through the cell, and then the ketones get into the bloodstream. That's your fuel source. And that goes, ketones in the brain will go excessively fast. So uh, the brain has a preference for glucose, uh, just like uh, cancer cells. The Warburg effect says that cancer cells love glucose. Uh, but if you were to have a ketone source, because the brain has a back door, it also loves and it can take advantage of ketones. So there's an extra source of energy. And it doesn't necessarily give too many extra calories. The calorie content for MCTs is a little bit less than long chain fatty acids. So that's a second benefit. It has less calories than long chain fatty acids. So talked about fast energy and the formation of ketones. Easier entry into the cell. Less calories than long chain fatty acids, long chain triglycerides. And then there's a appetite suppressant property of medium chain triglycerides that make it desirable when you're on a lean diet. So if you're on a lean diet, number one, if you take in uh, an extra source, fuel source, and it has less calories than long chain fatty acids, positive. Uh, if it induces uh, less of a insulin spike than glucose, it's a positive. So uh, less insulin spiking, so if you can, it will, it will be less inflammation, less inflammation or less ins insulin spiking causes less deposition of your fuel source into your current fat, your visceral fat, all positive. Uh, you have to work this into a standard American diet or a better than standard American diet. And I would do this twice a day. That leads me to the, uh, and you can do it in, uh, right now, again, I, I uh, supplement with uh, powder uh, form. You can put it into your powder. You can actually bake with this too. Uh, I don't know if I'd put this into water. I'm not sure how it would mix. But again, you saw the powder form. It's really, it's, uh, it's a very fine powder. So the objective, no smell. So uh, now again, this essentially will turn into an oil. So it might, um, it might not uh, mix great with just water. But if you have something that you're, say, taking almond milk, and you're putting your protein, it should come out okay. I have to taste it yet, so we'll see. The coconut oil that I use in liquid form really upset my stomach. I just don't like coconut. As I've le lectured before at Whole Foods, I don't like the taste of coconut. But, uh, so, great uh, idea with the appetite suppression, especially if somebody's on a kick to try to lose weight and start exercise or more aggressively. And finally, there is a benefit in animal studies to this uh, this, uh, Anthony's not into a ketotic or a, a ketosis diet. We're getting there. Uh, I don't know if we'll end there, but I just wanted to, for Anthony, just to decrease total calories per day. Uh, but uh, for all the folks that practice the ketotic or uh, uh, adaptive ketosis, uh, nutritional ketosis, 
I think there is benefit. Short term, I think. I, I'd be cautious about the long term uh, use of uh, just the ketotic uh, or the ketosis diet just because I am a little guarded as far as uh, the saturated fats, but we'll see. I see a lot of uh, small studies or N of one studies that say uh, cholesterol was lowered depending on the vegetables that you intake and mix in with the high fat diet, but uh, we'll see what the results are. No question though, when you get on an aggressive ketosis kind of practice, you will have an appetite suppression. Uh, it helps with brain fog. Uh, it has uh, uh, other benefits as far as a, 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 the taste and your energy, uh, ease of use, uh, but a, again, I, I'm cautious with uh, saturated fats and heart disease, but we'll find out later. I think if you overall get to a short-term phase of losing weight, that's a benefit. Then we can talk about what to do after the first six months to a year. So as far as long-term, even this might not be long-term for Anthony once he hits goal, but semi-ketosis. So uh, animal studies show that, and that's the last benefit, the fifth benefit, but animal studies will show that rats given uh, standard chow versus rats given standard chow plus uh, medium chain triglycerides, the guys or the animals that had the medium chain triglycerides also had a little bit of a ketotic effect. So they were able to uh, decrease their eating of the chow and have a better inflammatory response than the rats without the medium chain triglycerides. So they were able to get into a little, a, a, a mild state of ketosis. Ketosis, uh, I'll probably talk about that in the next video uh, uh, because I have previous videos but I didn't get into the details. Ketosis, uh, a lot of my patients think, uh, they say they're in ketosis, they're practicing a full ketotic diet, uh, but you really have to measure and using urine Mm, it's okay, but it's not accurate. Using breath, a little expensive, a little better. Using uh, measurements of finger sticks to measure beta uh, 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 butyrate, uh, that, that's the most accurate. Uh, BHB is probably the best, but the strips are so expensive. And the only, the only way to find out if you're in ketosis truly during that, your ketotic practice is to check and make sure. Because no matter what, it's very hard to fit nothing but fat in your diet. And if you try to keep your measurements in the 10% for carbohydrates, I think a little bit of carb will slip in there, even if it's uh, the net carb effect is on the low side when you can uh, include the fiber. But even that, and protein causes a little bit of uh, insulin response too. So the, a job of ketosis is to not spike insulin. And I think that that's what this is good for. So if you have brain fog, if you have diabetes, I think this is great because it's a fuel source. It gets in the cell easier. Uh, it doesn't really spike an insulin response uh, because it's fat, not carbohydrate or glucose. So there's great benefits to it. Uh, just have to see if you tolerate it. I'll probably post in a couple days how my gut tolerates this, but I'll probably just add it to what I'm doing as far as my shakes. Uh, but it is, again, it is if you're on the fence as far as uh, going into full ketosis or practicing a ketotic uh, nutrition practice and you're just trying to supplement your diet with energy uh, or you just have brain fog, uh, th there's no question that uh, ketosis usually helps if you practice a ketotic or adaptive ketosis diet. Uh, it does help with seizures. That's, uh, and there is one small study that showed benefit to MCT um, medium chain triglycerides helping with seizure control. I'll put a link down below. It, again, small uh, study, but there are other benefits. I didn't list because the um, the uh, data is a little bit uh, sketchy. So, but again, if we're starting out, I think it's a great thing to add if it doesn't upset your stomach and if it's affordable. This I got on Amazon for about 20 bucks. Um, hopefully lasts a little bit, but again, palatability is important and, and that's why it has to balance out. If we go strict as hell and just take water, that's it, not sustainable and you'll have eventually guilt or remission because you're not going to be eating like everybody else and you'll be unhappy. And as uh, Rick Bayless in one of our lectures uh, at the Arizona Center for Integrative Medicine has stated, all the scientists and doctors were stating their benefits to uh, taking care of inflammation. And Rick Bayless, uh, he's a chef, Rick Bayless just spoke up and said, you, whatever you do, science or no science, macronutrients or measurements or not, you cannot take away happiness from American diet. And that's, uh, that's the culture that a lot of 
uh, old civilizations or old cultures, uh, uh, Okinawa, uh, Costa Rica, Icaria, uh, Loma Linda, California, they all live to 100 because it's family-based. Uh, the eating is not just scientific, it's also with family. Uh, the prep is important, so uh, again, balance is important. We'll see if this gets you past. If you have any uh, questions or comments of how you take MCTs in liquid form or powder form, please put them down below. Otherwise, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll be putting one a new video on ketosis uh, very soon. So thanks for watching.